Hi and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing a koala cray and I'm excited to get in this with you. So if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this crate. Okay, so this month's koala crate is wind, which just sounds super fun. Build a wind-powered car, create a windsock, and observe weather patterns. So where we live, you, it can get super windy sometimes, and that's not fun. But just little bits of wind where you can play in it, that is fun. Not when it's like destroying things and blowing all your stuff all over the place. Not fun wind, <laughs> but it'll be fun to look at these activities. So when we open it up, we have the little instruction manual on top. So it looks like some sort of boat right here that they get to build, and that looks like fun. And so we have our three projects in here. So wind car, wind sock, and a weather chart over here. So that'll be cool. They can like keep track of the weather. And then it'll give us right here how messy they are and how much parent involvement is needed. And then we have our little magazine right here that's gonna go into more wind things that has activities in it. My daughter loves to like look through these and to color them. She thinks it's a lot of fun. And then the first thing we have is this piece of foam. I don't know what that's gonna be used for. And then we have our boat. This was like on the cover, had the little piece for the boat. We have several ribbons right here. I wonder if these are for our wind sock. And then a like suction cup right there. And then we have a whole bunch of wood pieces in here and a couple other pieces in here. I don't know, these are like those big popsicle sticks, but they're a lot thicker. So they're special popsicle sticks. And we have a couple dowels. And then we also have this little foam piece right here. And this looks like our sail for our boat. And then maybe some other stickers in the back, maybe for our weather chart, I'm not really sure. And then these are oil pastels. So that'll be fun. These are pretty heavy, <laughs> but it'll be fun for that, for her to be able to try out some, a different medium. And then, this is like a fan. It looked like this was what they were using to blow their boat. I guess you could blow your face with it if you get too hot out in the sun. This is our wind sock, it looks like, right here. So that'll be fun to make. And then, I don't know what this piece is for. It has some little pop-out things that you have to punch out. And then we have our weather chart right here. So it has kind of that laminated feel on it so you could take the stickers on and off. So this will be fun for her to look at the weather. And then we have some clear stickers that you can't see very well because they're clear. And I think that's what's in here. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for her. It'll be fun to kind of go through the weather from day to day and the times that my kids have made like little kites with each other, they'll just make their own kites. They spend like an hour outside running around. So I feel like these kinds of things will be fun for them to to play with as long as my four-year-old lets anybody else play with it. She will probably not, but <laughs> but it'll still be a lot of fun for her to go outside and to play and get some wiggles out. So I'm gonna let her get at it and we will let you know how it goes.
Okay, so Lydia finished doing the koala crate and it was actually super fun. I really enjoyed it this month. What does that remind you of? Uh, blowing this. Oh, blowing that. She called it a ping pong racket earlier. So we're gonna just start showing stuff because that's how we do things here. And then I'll tell you a little bit about it. So those are the sails. <laughs> and then this was the boat, if you missed that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> she doesn't know. I can't even remember what's called right now, windsock. <laughs> and that's a windsock. And then you also have this, huh? What's this one? Um, um it, it tells the uh, uh, it's cold or warm. It tells you if the temperature is cold or warm mm -hmm. and also what the day is. And it has you use the windsock okay, up here too. Yeah, I have that. yeah, you have that one too. <laughs> She's very excited today. So we started with this little, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a boat but it calls it a wind cart, but bless you, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> but it reminds me of a boat. So it has several different sails. So she colored these and this uses the pastels. So it comes with these little oil pastels that she gets to use. And this one and the windsock one uses the oil pastels. And it says, one of them says sort of medium messy and then one shows more messy or less messy. It shows less messy. But I would say that both of these are a little bit more messy than it probably says, just because the oil pastels very easily get onto other things. So you just have to be a little bit careful with them. They get on, they wipe off easy, like they wiped off my table really easily. <laughs> We're gonna get whacked in the face, <laughs> but they just can easily get on other things. So I would just be careful with that. Yep, so what you do, is you take this boat and you can try all the different sails. So there's several different ones that she got to color. There's black ones, there's this one that's a round one. And then you put this on the ground because it has these wheels on it. And then you use this little fan. You can try to blow on it, which we did. And she couldn't get it to go anywhere. <laughs> but you can use this little fan and get it to move. And so you can try out the different sails and kind of see which ones work the best. It's gonna fall off the table. She's trying to do it on the table right now. It's gonna just like be really loud when it falls off. So we put this one on the round one and it definitely did not work as well as like the square one that it just doesn't catch the wind as well. So it's kind of like this fun experiment process for them. And then she did the wind sock right here. So she got to color it on both sides. I tied this at the top and then I got this part started and then she was able to Kind of weave it in and out herself and then once i showed her how to do these she was able to do them herself because they're not tying the knots they're just pulling it through a loop so it was pretty easy for her to do herself so this whole project actually had quite a bit of things that she was able to do really well by herself which i feel like hasn't really happened too much <laughs> okay <laughs> we're gonna get whiplash here is what's gonna happen and then we hung this weather chart up on our window and she had fun with it. We walked outside and we were like, what's the temperature like? Because it has different temperature gauges right here. And then we looked up at the sky to see if it was cloudy or sunny. And she was able to put that here. And then we went, we took her little windsock outside. And was it windy outside? No. No, not really. <laughs> Sometimes it can get super windy where we live, it's but it wasn't today. It's a little windy. Just a little windy, huh? So this little circle is kind of where you mark how windy it is according to your windsock. So I thought all those were super cool and super fun. And I feel like there was something, oh yes, there was painting in here that I think would be a lot of fun. Wind painting. So kind of where you blow with a straw. So make sure you have a mess mat for that too. <laughs> Unless you want paint blown all over your house but that would also be a fun activity to do. So overall, I thought that this was a really, really great koala crate and something she can continue to do <laughs> or whip lashes. Okay, can you put it down please? And she's very excited to kind of check the weather from day to day and see how the weather is doing. So I think that will be fun. And again, I think all the kind of advice here with how hard stuff was is pretty accurate. <laughs> But there was the messy thing was the only thing I would comment on that the oil pastels are just They're more messy than normal crabs. So just be prepared for that. They kind of get all over the place But <laughs> I'm gonna let her go in a second man. She's antsy today to get back downstairs with her siblings But we really enjoyed the koala crate. Did you have a fun time? Mm-hmm mm -hmm. 
So if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Yeah.